everyone, it's Katie. Today we're going to learn Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash. This is what the play along sounds like. I hear that train a coming. It's rolling round the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Today I am using the amazing Tunnel 13 ukulele. It has an amazing train robbery story. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to link that in the cards above in the description box below. Make sure that you check that out after this tutorial. So first you have to note that the proper way to hold your ukulele is this way. Your neck is up at a 45 degree angle. For split screen purposes, I have to keep it down here. It's just easier for you to see what my hands are doing. So first I'm going to play a D. I'm going to take fingers one, two, and three, place them on the second fret of the G, C, and the E strings. So there's my D chord. I've seen D done this way, barred, or there's like a double up this way, this way. Just choose whatever way that is best for you that you have seen. Now for a D7, I'm not going to be using the bar chord. I'm going to be lifting off finger number two so that now this string right here, the C string is open. And that's going to be the D7 that we're going to use. So we need a G. Finger number three is going to be on the third fret of the E string. Then fingers one and two will be on the second fret of the A and the C string. And then for an A7, finger number one on the first fret of the C string. That's it. So this song is a 12 bar blues. That means it's going to be the same 12 chords over and over again in the same progression. So we have a D for four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. D7. One, two, three. G chord. And one, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, back to D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, A7, point your finger. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, D chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the strumming pattern that I'm using is down, 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 up, down, up, down down, down, up, down, up, one, and two, e, and a three, and four, e, and a. So down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up is going to be equal to four counts. And you notice that each chord is held for four counts. So you have to play that entire strumming pattern. You'll also notice that there is an accent mark over one, and two, e, and a three, and four e and a. so that means i am going to strum just a little just give a little bit more oomph or just a little bit more force to that one so that i emphasize that one that one chord or that one count i should say so it would sound like this down 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 up down up 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 my friend mikey likes to call it the feather so then you just think of a feather strumming lightly on your strings. So instead of thinking of applying the same amount of pressure as you strum, you're thinking down, down, feather, feather, down, down, feather, feather, wah, bam, feather, feather, bam, feather, feather. So maybe that will help having that visual or even saying feather, feather, that might help. So this is what it would sound like together. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, D7, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, G, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, D, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, feather, feather, down, down, A7. So you could skip this intro riff and the outro riff if you'd like to, but here it is if you want it. I'm going to be resting my hand right here on the base between the neck and the body of my ukulele, and I'm going to be just strumming with my thumb. I feel like you get a really clear sound with that, and I have a longer thumbnail to be able to have that sound. I've also seen other ukulele players that do not have long thumbnails, but you could use another finger if you'd like to. I feel like this is the best one. So I'm going to be plucking the open A string three times. 
Then I'm going to place finger number three on the fourth fret of the A string. And then play the open A string again. So we have zero, zero, four, four, zero. Now I place finger number one on the first fret of the E string. I pluck that string. And then I'm going to be pulling off on that string. So what happens is that I apply pressure to the string and then as you can see my wrist is just kind of pivoting just a little bit and my finger is going to strum that string essentially until it releases the pressure. So you're going to feel like some tension on the string but my finger is essentially strumming the string. Do you see that? So we have pluck, pull, and then D note. So I'm going to use finger number two in order to do that because then I have it in place when I find my D chord when I start strumming. So this is what it's going to sound like. Zero, 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 four, four, zero, pluck, pull, and then we have D. So you see, instead of strumming down on count one, count one is going to be replaced by that D note. Now the outro is very similar to the intro and it's going to sound this very, very similar. Zero, 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 four, four, zero. Pluck, pull, and then D, down, down, up, down, up, down. And then we're done. Now for the instrumental riff, if you want it. I'm going to take finger number two and place that on the first fret of the E string. I'm going to pluck it with my thumb and then I'm going to slide over to the second fret. So you see that I'm still applying pressure to the string and I'm dragging it over the fret so that I don't have to get a kind of a staccato sound. It's just a nice smooth transition like that. So to first fret, second fret. Now I pluck the open A string. Then I take finger number four or my pinky. I'm gonna place that on the third fret of the A string. I'm gonna pluck the A string, then open A string third fret, open A string. Now I do that again, pluck, slide, zero, three, zero, three. So that riff is very, very similar to the first part, but I'm not playing the open A string to end it. So it'll sound like this. Now I do that again, Now open A string, now I'm going to pluck the E string. So you see how my middle finger has remained right here on the second fret? It just lets it ring out versus making it staccato. So if you didn't leave it on there, here that just stops the sound. It sounds a little weird. So keep it there on the second fret. Now pluck the E string. And I'm going to take finger number one, place that on the second fret of the C string, because then when I play my G chord, it's already in place. You see that? And then I'm going to strum just the way that I had in the instrumental part that I had demonstrated. It's just down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, D. So nothing new there. So let's try that together. One and two, and three, and four. Slide. So if this song is too fast for you, I did make a video on how to slow down or speed up any YouTube video. I'm going to put that in the cards above and the description box below so that you can slow this down and practice this at a tempo that is right for you. Okay, so the play along is next.
told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns, but I shot him. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you like this video, please check out the other videos around here in the cards above and around here. Yes, they'll be right here. And um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye. Is the hair big enough? Maybe. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. My hair is in my face. resonant that when I sing, you can hear it. Ready? Do you hear that?